Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is a live service game and that itself makes people very mad. But why? Well, live service games have formed a particular image in the mind of gamers and because of past video games that have not done good and have also shut down because of it. And the best example is our favorite game, Marvel's Avengers. The gameplay itself was not very good but on top of that, the live service element also made the game worse where players had to grind so much to get so less. The grinding required players to fight the same enemies that they have been fighting for the longest time just to get some upgrades to your character. Not only that, apart from the main campaign, every other content that had a story element were not as good as it could have been, except maybe Wakanda's story. You also end up doing repetitive missions over and over again, and in the end, players were just disappointed that this is what we're getting. So this gave an impression that the developers and the publishers only care about money and they don't really care about us gamers who want a good story. And that's why Marvel's Avengers is now shutting down. And that's not the only game because games like Rumbleverse, Knockout City, Crossfire X and many more games are actually shutting down which also released not so long ago. So when a video game gets a life service tag in it, then people immediately think that it will have repetitive missions, too much grinding, lack of content and the fourth one is the best one that people talk about a lot, microtransactions. The reason why that becomes bad is because it seemed like they're more focused on that aspect of the game other than providing the content that is necessary. Well, most of the live service games are now going free to play and the reason why is because once you add a price tag of $70 that people are already paying and then you ask people to go buy a battle pass, I don't think so people will buy it. And the biggest issue with this particular game is that you need to be always online in order to play even the single player campaign. And with the amount of games that have been shut down, if this game gets shut down, you will not be able to play the game at all. So all your $70 have been wasted. But people are mad not only because of the live service, but also because of the gameplay. The gameplay videos saw Harley Quinn, Captain Boomerang, Deadshot and King Shark all jumping in the air and using all kinds of guns. Now that can work with Captain Boomerang because he's using his boomerang which has a speed force in it and he's utilizing it to traverse or with Deadshot who has a jetpack that he is using to fly across makes complete sense. However, for someone like Harley Quinn who is using this bat claw which attaches to a drone and then she uses it to swing yeah, I, I don't know. Instead of that, why could you not give Harley Quinn just a bat claw where she could just use it to attach herself to the top of the building and she could go to the roof? That would make much more sense because either she is much more inspired by Batman or it could also be about how Amanda Waller, who actually recruited them, gave that bat claw to her. Similarly, King Shark jumps way too much in the air. Instead, he should actually have some more weight to show that this game is heavy and the developers themselves have mentioned that he's a tank and a melee guy but the way he is traversing feels like he is not. Why could you not give him a similar moveset to that of Hulk that was done in Marvel's Avengers? The way he was jumping around and climbing, that is what King Shark also needs. Maybe not that heavy but a little bit toned down, that would actually let people know that hey this guy is actually stronger than the rest of the individuals. Now speaking of guns, every other character using guns makes sense. I don't have a problem with it but with Captain Boomerang, shouldn't he be using the boomerang more so often than using guns? It's just a weird choice in my opinion that these criminals should use guns. But again that also makes sense because they don't have superhero like abilities. But based on the gameplay video we also saw that you have different varieties of guns that you can grind and get them. But what they're doing with the guns is they're having a gear score with each gun. Meaning if you can grind enough, you can actually get a legendary high power level gun or an epic hand weapon. So basically the game wants you to do a lot of missions so that you can get new weapon and you keep on switching from this weapon to the legendary weapon who has more gear score and it continues over and over again. I'm really happy that Rocksteady is going in a different direction instead of Batman Arkham games because they cannot continue the same game over and over again. But what are they shooting? They're shooting these purple blobs in every machine. But why purple blobs exist in the first place? Well Brainiac is our main villain and he has already brainwashed people and the Justice League. But he's also hacking these machines and turn it against us. So in order to show that he has done that, there's a wine-like structure wrapped around these things but they have also made it way too obvious that there's a purple blob which is a weak point. You could have done something else with the tank and you could have done something else with the cannons but no, it's just shoot purple things and destroy them. That also brings up to the repetitive part of the gameplay because it really seems like you're gonna do all that all the time. And this is the general reception that people have and that's why Suicide Squad Killer Justice League has now been delayed. 
It is not of confirmed news, but many believe that this game is coming out later this year. And some also believe that it's coming out next year. Well, DC is in a very weird state right now because Suicide Squad, which kind of looked promising, is not anymore. And Gotham Knights, well, that also failed. But why exactly people hate Gotham Knights? Well, check this video out to know what they did that made the game fail. 